Hi, Bob here from Bob Coates Photography and Successful-Photographer.com. Um, we're going to continue on with the step and repeat. This is level three, aka it's the next step. We're going to use texture blend modes, texture and blend modes in Photoshop to um, uh, really add some depth and dimension to our images. Okay, so this is where we left off on the last one. And we've got some color going, we've got some layers, we've got some texture, but now it's time to really get in and have some fun and play around a little bit. And one of the ways to do that is to pick a texture. So we've got a nice little texture here, it's got a lot of shape and form and little dots and things, so I'm gonna command click or control click on there and take it over to my image and I'm going to hit the shift key so it hits the center of the image and holds on real tight. Now remember anytime you drop an image on top of your file it will end up on whatever layer that was last thing. So this was the layer we had selected so it ends up right above there. Um, so the reason we see some of that texture involved in this is because this layer is at an opacity of 27 percent and actually I kind of like what happened there except it's a little light so what we can do is um, we can put a curves layer let's put a curves adjustment layer um, above there but first thing we're going to do is we're going to hold down the option or alt key when we do that so that the curves or adjustment layer only applies when we click this box right here it only applies to the layer that we've just put on there and we say OK so if you look you see this little arrow right here that means that whatever we do here just applies to this layer so I'm gonna just play with the curves just a little bit I'm gonna bring down the the, the uh, density just a little bit drive it in there We've got a lot of that's a lot of fun things happening there so that's kinda cool and remember we're kinda gonna build all this together so I kinda like I like what we've got right there so I'm gonna go ahead and um, close this box up so we don't have to look at it um, now one thing when we brought that layer in did you see how we've got this little area right here and here where it's not quite so beautiful we, there's a couple of things we could do we can select that layer and then we can shift it around possibly but I don't like what's happening with the black up there oh, okay we can hide it behind there we can move it over here but then we end up with some of that white um, stuff down here these are all algorithms and these are the images working together and seeing what happens so let's go up here and right there so all we have is just a little bit to deal with up here and one of the easy ways to fix something like that is to hit the S key for the stamp tool or the clone tool as you say hold down the option key click a spot that's away and then we can clean up that area real quick and we got a little bit of stuff down here that I'm not happy with so just watch we can just you know kinda click 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 and we're gonna option click up in here and we're just uh, getting uh, there we go and one last little one there oh, we picked up some bad stuff there now let's go back one more we can always go to our history and step back a little bit further got a couple of real small ones so I'm gonna make a little bit smaller brush and just hit there and there now I'm kinda happy with what's going on there and I think I'm also gonna bring up the opacity since we've got such a heavy texture there I'll bring up the opacity just a little bit and you can see how we can make a lot of things happen. So here's another texture and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the command or control key and click and drag it over again I'm going to hit the shift key to make sure it holds into the center and shift command or control T and look at that I've, I've hit the transform tool but my image is so large that the bounding box is way outside so if you ever get stuck like that command or control zero the number zero look at that it gives us access to our points there and then we can hold down the shift and option key kinda of drag it together just a little bit and because we're working with layers and um, blend modes and we're just kinda of, we, we don't necessarily need to constrain the proportion so I'm just kinda of filling the space with with that I'm gonna go ahead and accept that transformation Let's uh, hit the command or control plus key to bring our image back up. And now let's go ahead and take this to a layer above 
Oh, it made everything disappear, didn't it? Except for our little guy that's right above there. Ah, but now here's where we start to play some more. Uh, using the Mac, you can, and I believe the PC also, we hold down the Shift key and the Plus key, and it, we see this little spot right here. This is called the Blend Modes, and right now it's in Normal, so it's absolutely showing everything that's on that layer. But as we hit the Shift and Plus key, up oh, first we have to hit the V key to get to the Move tool, M-O-V-E, Move because marquee was already taken, uh, the move tool couldn't have the M. So let's go ahead and hold down the shift key and the plus, and now we can start to see some changes happening. Let's, ooh, I'm really liking what just happened there. So I'm going to hold on to that. I don't like the fact that it totally covered up this area in the middle here. So here's something we can do. We can hit the command or control and click on the layer down below. We're clicking on this layer here. So we've just made a selection of what was down there. And now we can add a mask to the layer that we're working on. And now you can see that the mask has masked out the opposite of what I would like to do. So I can hit Command I and invert that selection. And now I've masked out all of it. But let's see. Let's hit that selection now. Now we have that selection, and what I want to do is I want about half of that. So at the moment, this is all black, so we're covering everything up and allowing the bottom to show through. I'm going to make it 50% by grabbing the uh, right here in the middle. So now it's that's a middle gray. The selection is made, and if I hit um, Option Delete, remember we filled that. Oh, that's the opposite of what I was looking for. So let's invert that selection, Shift, Command, or Control, I. So now we have the opposite selection. Let's try it again. And now, look, we've allowed some of that texture to apply to our horns. And I think that's starting to look good. Um, we can work all these things. There's a lot of ways. We can shuffle these layers. We can move them around. Uh, I'm going to add another texture because I think it needs something a little bit more. Let's go see what we have over here. Um, these are just some Carolina jessamine uh, flower that had fallen off and kind of piled up with the wind. So I'm going to go ahead again, Commander Control click, go to our file. Hold down the shift key, drop it in there. Actually, I'm going to take this one up top. And again, since we're on the move tool, we can go ahead and hold down the shift and plus key and kind of work our way through, see what we like. So this is a lot of uh, what I call WYSIWYG, or what, uh, what you see is what you get. And I don't like it over the entire top, but look, I can go ahead and drag it down a little bit or I can drag it underneath there and have it affect various parts of the image as we go. Let's go down one more. Let's see if it's just on the background. Yeah, how about in the middle there? So again, we can make our choices and move things around and let's add just a little bit more depth because we're starting, because we've got such a dark background here, we're not seeing our drop, drop shadow anymore. So let's go to um, this layer right here, go to the FX, add the drop shadow, and again we can choose where our drop shadow is going to go, and we can add a little bit more so it shows up, and then use the size to increase it just a little bit, and again it adds that little bit more depth and dimension and the one that's underneath could use some of that too, so I'm going to hold down the Option key, and when you hold down the Option key and click on a layer effect, what happens is we will copy it to whatever layer we drop it on. And you see how that kind of made our under layer pop up just a little bit. If you just pick up the effect and drag it and drop it, you see it left the area we were on before, and that's not necessarily what we want to do. So again, these are some shortcuts that can help you out, and let's see what happens if we increase the opacity just a little bit more underneath. There we go. Okay, so I think you're getting the idea that we can make a lot of changes. What happens? Oh, we have our layer down the bottom there. Nothing happened in there. 
Nothing happening there. Now, why is nothing happening there? Because this mode is in normal, all this is covered up. So we can do a couple of things. One would be to lower the opacity, and that allows some of what's going on down here to be seen through the layer. Or we could mask some things out. Anyway, once you get to this point, it's time to start playing, baby. I mean, we can just have a great time with this kind of stuff. So this is an idea on how to use the step and repeat and adding some textures using blend modes, and you can create any kind of art you're looking for. And we'll have one more run with a slightly different work of the step and repeat tool when we come up with uh, version number four of the step and repeat. I'm Bob Coates. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial.